Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the Rubik's Cube. I'm not trying to solve one, but instead we're trying to find out how many possible combinations in the universe-sized Rubik's Cube. So here we have a 2x2x2 two by two by two Rubik's Cube and a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So it is well known that just the regular one has many, many possible combinations. So just the smallest one here has over 3.6 million total combinations, which is a lot. And for the 3x3x3, three by three by three, we have around 4.3 times 10 to the 19 total possible combinations. This is basically 4 followed by 19 zeros. So this is already a astronomical number. What about 4x4x4? Four by four by four? So 4x4x4 four by four by four has around 7.4 times 10 to the 45 ways. Um, and for a 5x5x5, five by five by five, they are around 2.8 times 10 to the 74. So as you can see, as the number of size increases, I mean, just increase by one, the total number of combinations increase rapidly. So this number means there are, there are two, is two followed by 74 zeros. So there's a, there's a kind of big jump between these two. For six by six by six, is already bigger than a Google, which is here 1.6 times 10 to the 116 is bigger than 10 to the power of 100. So already a 6x6x6, six by six by six, um, the total number of combinations is already bigger than a Google, which in turn is bigger than the number of atoms in the entire observable universe, which sounds crazy. And the biggest uh, commercially available uh, Rubik's Cube or in the competition is a 7x7x7. So a 7x7x7 has a total number of combinations of around 1.95 times 10 to the 160, which is mind blowing. And as you can see, as we go up, let's say if we have an 8x8x8, eight by eight by eight, the number only goes up by a lot. So the question is, you know, um, how big can this combination get? You know, here we're trying to get a big number, right? So what is one of the easiest way to get get a big big number? In I mean, at least based on a, you know, based on daily life. In our daily life, what can we find? Uh, I mean. What is something that we can uh, leads to a very very big number? So I think Rubik's cube is a very good example. So let's go up even more. So as of two thousand eighteen, um, the biggest Rubik's cube ever made is a thirty three by thirty three by thirty three Rubik's cube. So it is um, the total number of combinations is huge so it's around 1.87 times 10 to the 4099 total combination this is a huge number this is bigger than 10 to the power of 4000 so just by increasing from 7 to 33 you get a much bigger number and that is only 33 squares so what if we go even higher? Well, um, I wanted to point out that how, I mean, as you can see, how do I get this number? Of course, there's a formula for that. And the formula, um, someone figured out the formula for the total number of combinations, which is over here. This is the formula to find out the number of combinations for a n by n by n side 
Rubik's Cube. So here you just have to plug in the end like this one. You just put two in the place of the end. So there's end here, end here, end here, and end here. You just plug in three for the end. So that's how I got those numbers over here. So for a seven by seven by seven, you just plug seven into the end. Same for 33. So with this formula, we can find out any n, as long as n is not super super huge. And now, what is the largest Rubik's Cube we can ever make? At least physically, and knowing, you know, uh, the cost, you know. So the biggest Rubik's Cube we can ever make, of course, is the size of the observable universe. So how many size does it have for such a Rubik's Cube? So each cube in this case, each cube or each piece here um, will have the size of a Planck volume. So that means each side here has a length of a Planck length. So each square has a length of a Planck length. And a Planck length is the smallest length scale ever defined in physics. So you cannot go any smaller than that. And a Planck length has a length of around 10 to the minus 35 meters, which is extremely, extremely small. Way, 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 way smaller than even an atom or even a neutron or electron. And... The diameter of the observable universe is around 10 to 26 meters. So in this case, we assume the universe is a cube instead of a sphere. Um, and how many of this square can you fit in the observable universe? So let's find out. So the formula will be this. So it's 10 to the 26. So the length of the the diameter of the observable universe 10 to the 26 meters divided by 10 to the minus 35 meters and we get 10 to the 61 of these squares so that means in this universe sized cube we can fit 10 to the 61 squares inside of it in the other words this huge rubik's cube this universe size Rubik's Cube will be a 10 to the 61 by 10 to the 61 by 10 to the 61, which is huge. This is one followed by 61 zeros. And you cannot get any more than that. And how many total possible ways to arrange this Rubik's Cube? So again, we use this formula over here is 10 to the power of 61 and all I have to do is plug in 10 to the 61 in it and the result is here so this is the result so the result is, is staggering 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 123 so this is 10 to the 10 to the 123 total possible combinations and this of course clearly is bigger than a Googleplex, which is 10 to the 10 to the 100. So this is huge. So if you want to get something, if you want to get a number bigger than a Googleplex in a real world, I'm not sure. One way is by Rubik's Cube. And if you can make a universe-sized Rubik's Cube, then yeah, the total common total possible combination will be bigger than a Googleplex. But that's pretty much it. So even something this crazy, um, you can just barely pass the Googleplex. You cannot go much higher than that. Um, if you want to try to get something way, way, way bigger than Googleplex in the real world, uh, I'm not sure. It's pretty almost impossible because everything in the physical world even you know we know that 
combinations or permutations, we can get big numbers from them. But even that, those are mostly just exponential functions. You cannot get numbers way bigger than Googleplex. In most cases, even smaller than that. And one interesting note is that this number is kind of close to the total number of ways you can arrange all the atoms in our observable universe. And that number is around 10 to the 10 to the 118. So this number is bigger than that, but it's not too far off in terms of size, relatively, you know. Of course, this number is way, way, way bigger than this, but, you know, to our eyes, yeah, close enough. So there we have it. This is one of the more interesting questions for about Rubik's Cube. So, I mean, we all know that Rubik's Cube has a lot, a lot, a lot of total combinations. And now we find out, yeah, we can get something bigger than the Googleplex. But surprisingly, yeah, it's not much bigger than that. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.